give you an overview of what I've been doing on my Black Pearl. I've tried to get ready to uh, finish some of the back parts, these two back wings I put on. And now I've started doing some of the initial planking. And what my thought is, because there's no instructions on the planking. I've looked online. Obviously, I'm not a perfectionist on this. This is going to be real rough. And what I'm going to do is put this initial planking on. And then I uh, purchased some black oak that's thinner. And then I'll go over the entire thing with that. This has been a little tricky, and I've used my plank bender on it. And you'll have to make some seams every once in a while, because they're not long enough to go the full length. But that will be okay. When I sand this, I think it will turn out fine. I'm almost done with this side. I haven't even started over here. As you can see here, I've misaligned the gun ports. But the thing that's nice about working with wood, I can go in and etch that out. So that's what I'm doing here using my Dremel type tool to make those cutouts. Then once I get it rough out I can just take a flat file until I get even with the actual port opening. I'm just finishing up sanding off the gun ports and as you can see that will look much better. That's what I like about working with wood. You can make mistakes and it's a little bit easier to cover and replace. What I'm working on next is on the open side and get this top rail in position. These are the top one is Q8 and then what will go next it is Q7. Q7 does not have a gun port like the opposite side. That may be a production error. If that's the case, I'll cut it in later. But those are the parts I'm going to be putting on now. And then behind this, it looks like I have this marked Q1. But, okay, well that this is that back gun port but it's not quite straight across from that one. Maybe that's the way it's designed. And this will go right in here. Give you an idea what that's going to look like. Now, some of those parts were hard to identify, so this Q1, that may be an error on my part. While assembling this, I've figured out the back part. This is Q1, and then on the opposite side is R1. It kind of has a puzzle piece there. I have it taped over to hold it in place. Once these are attached, or then your back deck that covers, uh, I guess the third deck I could call it, that will go in here and there's these little notches, you can see them under here, and then that will hold, help hold it in place. But I've got to carve those out because the planks are over them. So. That's what I'm going to do now is open that back up so that that can go basically like that. So it is working out. That is Q1 and the other side is R1. Here I'm cleaning out those grooves with a very fine bit on a rotary tool so that those two pieces will fit together just perfectly. So that should make it so that this can attach like basically like that. I've got a little cleanup to do on it. I have Q1 and R1 in place. Q1 is on the left side. And then this deck will fit under here eventually. And those tabs these tabs and these tabs will match up. So making pretty good progress. Another breakthrough today considering I'm just matching up pieces like a puzzle with no directions. Okay, I've just temporarily put this in place and I'm not going to glue it yet because obviously 
there's additional parts that will go in here. And on this back side, I'm guessing this is removable here so you can look in to the captain's chambers. I don't know. A little more progress. I'm going to cut these doors and try and hinge them so they'll open and close. But this is the part that goes underneath there. The other tricky part of this are the windows that go in place. Those four, but they're, and let me back up. This is part H9. These are P7. And then there are window frames, very fragile, that are marked Q4. And it has you put a piece of clear plastic behind these and then I think this frame it all works together so I'll explain that after I figure it out but so that you have uh, what appears to be glass in the window I could either use clear plastic that's soft but I also have some hard clear plastic similar to what's on this that I can cut that, that's straight instead of rounded so I may try that instead and the other piece that I've located is what goes on this end is C6. And there's a little notch you can see that it'll fit in. And I will glue that right there. So let me get started on this and I'll show you how it turns out in a few minutes. I've not glued this on yet. I will take this off so I can position that underneath here better. Okay, here are these pieces. Again, I'm going to try and hinge this and cut it. The window itself fits inside, but it's got some gap. But this does not fit in the gap, so this sits on the outside to give it some dimension. And then this clear plastic I'm going to cut to put in behind it. I'm thinking I'm just going to lay this on the back side like that and glue it in place because I don't think it's going to show. Here's a little bit of a close-up of H9. That's the back piece. You can see I've set the plastic behind. I'll glue it on. Obviously not in front of the door. And then you can see, actually you can see reflection. So that's how it should look other than, than this frame. We'll go on top of that. So I think that gives you an idea what that window will look like when it's finished. I'll do a little clean up on the edge there. You can see that little white dot. I'll sand that off and put a little stain on it. This uh, plastic that I'm using was just off of a, a food container, but it's real thin, very clear, and I think that'll work pretty good for the uh, the effect that I want you can see the reflection in the glass. Here's my completed uh, doorway to the captain's quarters and I was able to kind of make a hinge for the door. I think I'll do some edging here or maybe just stain it darker. Windows turned out fine. The uh, Wood here is leftover planking from the deck of the ship. I thought that would look more appropriate. And actually the instructions do show that the planking is used there. So again, this will go underneath, right under there. I'm preparing to plank the open side. And what I've had to do is some sanding, trying to get this so, it'll, so the planks will be smoother as they come around. So I've used a variety of things, but what's been working better is just this block sander and just sanding, trying to get it so that each one of these pretty much map, match up as close as I can. The other side I've planked. And what I'll do here shortly is I'll sand this down. I'll probably use, there's a couple 
places it went in a little further so I'll put some wood putty in there and then sand this smooth and then I'll put another thin layer of planking over the top of all of that. I'll mention while we're here I have gone ahead and I've glued the front plate on and the one that goes over the captain's quarters. The doorway is in place and the windows and the back is open so I'll be able to get in and do furnishings and things. I'm trying to make some now if you can see some lighting in there some like giant pillar candles but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I do have the lights in them so when I light them up we'll see but they're obviously too large for the scale but I'm just pretending like they're very large pillar candles. It is starting to look like a ship though.